Minister, first of all, welcome. It's very nice to see you at this occasion, the Motel Car BBQ Awards. How important is it for you to be a government representative at awards such as this? It's very important because it's one of those platforms, in my opinion, that enables others who, have not, who are not there to realise that it is possible. That's the first and most important thing. Especially if I look at where Matlakar comes from itself as a company, it's been 20 years that they've been at it. So for me, they are just a very good example of how it is, how possible it is if you just put your mind to it, you put more effort, you sacrifice, by yes. the way, you sacrifice a lot, uh, you save a lot, you study a lot. You know, studying is not about going to school. Studying is also about just looking at your environment and taking advantage. And so for us as government, we are very excited when we are invited to such platforms because they are an encouraging platform. It, not only that, it also makes you human, doesn't it? Not just somebody who's there on behalf of government in parliament and that. It makes no, you a very human when the people no, see absolutely, you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's it's it, what I like is I'm just. I must say, really, since I came into office, I've had such amazing support from themselves, small and medium enterprises. They've been calling nonstop, and what is good is that I've been having calls from those that are successful, saying. Can we be able to help? Can we be mentors to others who are coming up? Then, of course, I've got those who are still struggling, who are saying, government, please give us the help that you can. Then I've got um, support from people who are just saying, look, we understand the task. It's a huge task. We want to hold your hands and be able to support you in the best way that you can. And that's what is exciting about South Africans. Minister, we are a Western Cape organisation, Cape Media, obviously, who put on the BBQ Awards on behalf of Motley Car. We see very little presence of government ministers in the Western Cape, and we'd love to see you down there. Can we look Gosh, forward to it? You do not. You cannot believe that this week, this just yesterday, I was in in Cape Town, and even the journalists themselves pulled me to the side and said, "Look, Minister, what's your story? You're not coming to us." And I said, "By the way, probably they didn't realize my first engagement in the community was in Cape Town. My first engagement with the community was in Kailicha, and I'm still at pains in making sure." that there is a follow-up because what I saw there was not something that I, I was very comfortable with. I saw small and medium enterprises who were really struggling, very poor infrastructure, very little financial support. There's lots of guys that are really trying their best, doing very well, but of course the kind of support that they need needs that we as government, we get closer to them because some of them are complaining about the fact that they don't have information about where to go to. And for me, I can't be just sitting in Pretoria and thinking that I'm serving the people. It means I must, as much as I possibly can, my staff and everybody that works around me must try and get down to the bottom as where small and medium enterprises Well, bottom are. line really is, between government and the people, is communication, communication, Absolutely. communication, isn't Absolutely. it, really? If we can communicate uh, more, because it's not, even with the support that government is getting, a lot of people on the ground yeah. are saying, we just don't see it immediately. And my approach to it is that some of the offices that are there, that are supportive offices, we must make sure that they are, they are set up closer to the people than being only set up in towns. We've also got rural areas, which uh, are also a challenge. A lot of people are saying, look, there are opportunities here. However, without support, it's very difficult for them. But we're here.